be able to do it. And friends, when you start something good, good things start happening. Today, we have Mr. Warren Harris, the CEO and MD of Tata Technologies USA here, and I would request him to please come up on stage along with Rotarian Ravi Dhotre, who is the District Literacy Coordinator for 3131, and Rotarian Taranath President Puna North, along with Vijay Jalan. And friends, they are going to sign an MOU for an equivalent approximately for half a million dollars for a program which is for e-learning centers here in Pune. And they wanted to do it in the presence of the President-elect, and may I request you, uh, Ravi, to please step forward. Please. You can you can come here and sign it here. It's better. Please. 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 Wonderful, thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. In terms of rupees, it is 2.73 crores. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with such a distinguished group of civically minded and socially conscious individuals. I'd like to share with you a little bit about the journey that has got Tata Technologies to this stage and to this event. For those of you that may not be familiar, Tata Technologies is in the business of helping manufacturing companies create better products. And to make that happen, we rely on the creativity and innovation of thousands of engineers, designers, and technologists, many of which are located here in Maharashtra. Five years ago, we were struck by a fundamental sustainability challenge. The demand for qualified engineering gra graduates was exploding. And our school systems, specifically here in India, were not keeping pace with the demand. It was a stark challenge and one we couldn't watch grow unchecked. So in response, we launched a program that we call Ready Engineer. Now in the past three years alone, I'm tremendously proud to say that Ready Engineer has helped train and mentor some 500 college students across India in mechanical engineering, which continues to be one of the fastest growing professional fields globally. What's more, some of these same students are now Tata Technologies employees, working in good paying jobs in an exciting growth industry. And that's how we measure the success of this CSR program, by making engineers readily 
employable. And while I believe our work with Ready, Engi Engi Ready Engineer represents a step in the right direction, there is undoubtedly much more to be done and so many more lives that we can touch. And that's what brings me to why I'm here today. With the signing of this MOU, Tata Technologies and Rotary Club of Pune North have committed to providing 100 schools, 300 classrooms, reaching out to more than 15,000 students in and around Pune with innovative e-learning technology from Comkin Software. This program will help us walk on the path of Tata Group's Vision 2025, which aims to reach out to 25% of the world's population who will experience the Tata commitment to improving the quality of life of our customers and the communities in which we live and work. These tools will offer world-class learning opportunities for thousands of students, many hailing from underserved communities in the state's rural areas, where the need is greatest. We will also be providing the teachers of these schools with specialized training and professional development so that their human touch is aligned with the technology that the students will be using. And while the focus of this program is students in grades 8 through 10, the beauty of the technology is that it can be used to educate students of all grade levels, something that we're acutely pursuing and encouraging within the adopted schools. But that's not all. To ensure that the girls of Maharashtra have access to the educational opportunities they so richly deserve, I am absolutely de delighted to announce that we are also donating e-learning software to each and every one of the thousand all-girls Maharati medium schools in this state. <laughs> Prime Minister Modi put the education of India's girls front and center last month with his Bati Bachao, Bati Pahao challenge. I trust and hope I got the pronunciation right. Well, Mr. Prime Minister, if you're listening today and on behalf of Tata Technologies and Rotarians the world over, I respectfully say, challenge accepted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Warren. It's wonderful that we do accept the challenge and we are partners in accepting this challenge. Thank you so much for your generosity. And friends,